All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Command Block series, or the Command series. <laughs> Keep getting like, confused each and every time. Um, but today we're going to be going over the slash give command, um, how to give yourself items. So let's just get right into it. So we're going to pull up the command window and type in slash give. This is the command that when I type in. Then it'll pop up along the bottom once again, like always, the different things that we need to put in next. So first of all, when you put in the, the player, so we're going to put at S for myself. You can put in your friend if you want, if you want to give your friend an item. You can put your friend's name in. And then it comes up with a massive list of items. Now, I would highly suggest that you guys type into Google or something like... um. I have a website. I don't know whether this will this is uh, entirely correct, but if you type in dig Minecraft and then um change the like dig Minecraft and then item list or whatever. Um and then go on like whatever link and then try and find the bedrock version or the Xbox, PlayStation, whatever version, and it should pop up with every single item in this list. And you can t put in any item that you want. Now, there are some exceptions because clearly you can't just put in, like, let's just, for example, like, blue wool. You can't actually do that. If I try, try to put in blue, and then if you look right there, there's no blue wool. There's a special way that you have to do that. And that is with, um, like, you had to put in wool, and then there's a certain color. And essentially what you would have to do is go through all the different numbers so um yeah it's a bit complex so if you just give us a second i will get all of the numbers for you guys okay so i actually have all the numbers right here um i have it in a little message i might be able to put it on screen maybe um but essentially if you put after wool and um, this goes to other I other blocks as well um, that I'll, I'll say in a minute. But if you put after wool a number, so if it's zero, it'll be white wool. One is orange. Two is magenta. Three is light blue. Four is yellow. Five is lime. Six is pink. Seven is dark gray. Eight is light gray. Nine is cyan. Ten is purple. Eleven is blue. Twelve is brown. Uh, 13 is green, 14 is red, and 15 is black. Um, and essentially that is what the um, the data value is. Now, I'm still in the mindset right here, I've just not realised that I've got the numbers in the wrong way around. Um, you can see at the bottom right there it says amount, INT, then data, INT. I've just put in the data value. We need, you need to actually put in a, an amount value. So let's just say... I want, uh, I don't know, I want 35 wool. There we go. So what this command actually reads right now is give myself 35 wool and it's data value 15. So what essentially that means is it's black wool. Um, and the last part at the end, the components JSON, um, that is like high level stuff, honestly. I wouldn't even bother even looking into it because um, it's not really necessary. So right now I should get 35 black wool, as you see right there. Now that's something that I just demonstrated right there that even I got wrong. I got the numbers at the end the wrong way around. Um, if I were to have put the 15 in front, it would have not worked and it'll probably give me an error. Um, not it give me white wool and it'll only give us 15 of them. Uh, I believe anything past 15 for the data value, it just gives you whatever so make sure you get the two numbers the right way around but them are all the different data values for um blocks like wool there's also things like concrete and concrete powder so if i just type in concrete um for example um concrete and concrete powder you can see there's not all the different colors for these so you'd have to do the same thing again with the colors put a data value where it says data um at the bottom there um, so it's just a little bit confusing, I know, but there's certain things. I believe wood is also the same. So you would just have to kind of, yeah, you see wood here. You would have to try and figure out which one 
is like that's orc right there. You have to figure out which one is the right one. Like the, if you put three, then that's jungle. You see what I mean? So you'd have to try and figure out which one is the right one. So I'm glad I got that out of the way and sorted. So that's basically it. And um, you can literally give yourself any item in the game. There are some, however, as I explained, that are a bit awkward. I mean. You can even possibly give yourself an anvil and then, like, let's just say one anvil and then give yourself, like, a broken anvil, possibly. Um, if you give, like, a, if you put, like, a different data value, maybe. Yeah, this one's somehow orientated a different way. You see what I mean? Like, this one and and then this one, the, the orientated a different way. It doesn't make any sense. Then we get another one, a oh, slightly damaged anvil. Then we have this one. Then we'll have this one, which is also facing the other way, which doesn't make any sense. But um, basically what all this is for is to essentially make it so there's not as many items in the list. Um, and essentially making it more complicated, but less items that you have to go through. So it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, you know, doesn't really. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you guys, and, um, yeah, just try and play around with it, try and figure out all the different things with that data value thing, because that is probably the most confusing part about this command, that probably a lot of you have clicked on the video to figure out, um, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.